everyone, it's Dana here with Love Sold the Flowers and we are going to be doing a Christmas tutorial. Um, you know what, my gun does not feel hot. Hmm. My glue gun just felt cold. So let me go see why it's cold all of a sudden because it was working. So let me just make sure we are good with all our plugs here and uh, make sure I get it back on. Anyway, we are going to do a tutorial tonight and, um, oh, I see where it is. Hold on, I gotta plug myself back in real fast. Um, and it's gonna be for uh, some Christmas wrapping. Um, Sorry guys, my wire got pulled out, but anyway, here we are. And we're gonna do something uh, cute with how to wrap. Hi Johnny. Um, so uh, we do have a sale going on. It's up to 60% off of regular solo flowers. We do have a coupon code for that. It is DEC, like December, DEC 60. So it's up to 60% off uh, regular solo flowers. Um, and you just gotta put that coupon code when you check out. Um, and we are so close to the holidays now, but I thought I'd do something just quick and cute um, on how to, hi Callie, how to um, wrap a few things, and um, it's ironic that uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you why it's ironic. So, a lot of times during the holidays, people bring like wine, I know, <laughs> you know, I didn't have a heart to like move them. So, <laughs> um, so a lot of times people bring bottles of wine and things like that to holiday parties and I thought let's come up with a cute way to decorate it um, without needing like a whole wine bag or something like that um, but I don't drink any alcohol and um, so I don't have any wine bottles in my house but look what I found I do have a balsamic vinegar bottle so um, let's just make believe this is a wine bottle because for the sake of our craft it doesn't really matter. Um, but what I'm gonna show you how to do tonight, um, we're gonna put like a little Sola bow kinda uh, on here. Um, you can use for anything, okay? You can use it for anything you need to slip uh, like a bow type thing on it. So I'm gonna make it for a bottle. Again, um, I was thinking a lot of people bring wine, um, you know, for the holidays and something to look cute and whatever. So again, I'm gonna be using my balsamic vinegar bottle here um, as a sample. So there's a few bases that you can use. So I have this stretchy lace, but you can use any type of elastic. Um, you know, it comes in just shiny white, it comes in red, anything that has a stretch to it, okay? Cause that's gonna be what's gonna make it where you can pull this on um, and make it so it stays on like a cute little bottle cover thing. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure our first cut. And I'm gonna just cut it first where it goes around, okay? But again, this is, you're gonna wanna use an elastic one. You're not gonna wanna like one that isn't uh, stretchy because the whole point again is to be able to slide it up and down here. So after I made it so it goes around, Actually, I had a little extra anyway. I'm actually gonna cut it even shorter than that because you want it to pull tight enough that it's not gonna slide up and down the bottle. So let me check this. So again, it's gonna, we want it to kind of pull tight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some glue. Let's see if I'm hot now. And make this into a loop. We're just getting warm because my wire went out. Okay. okay. So I'm just gonna make a little loop here. And we're gonna cover the seam, so don't worry about there being a seam right now. All right, and we're just gonna test it out and make sure that we're good okay so see how it pulls tight so we wanted to make it the right way around like the right measurement to go all the way around and then we make it just a little bit shorter so that it is snug now i'm going to build this i guess right on the bottle um but you could take it back off and slide it on and off but 
for the sake of this video, it might be easier to hold it in place where you guys can see it. Um, this piece got folded. All right. All right, so we've got to get our little base of our elastic ribbon. Again, elastic can come in all different styles. You can even get, there's like elastic stretchies that are um, even glittered. You can go fancy, but uh, I had this little stretch lace that I liked, so. All right, so as usual, we're always gonna wanna start with a little greenery base. Um, I'm gonna use my faux fillers first. And I'm gonna fill it up with some Christmas greens here. And again, anything that you have, maybe that's a little bit odd shape that is round, you can make these for, obviously it doesn't have to be for a wine bottle, um, but I just thought, I know I see people bringing lots of wine around to different people's houses. And I thought, what a cute idea to decorate it up where it's already fancy and you don't have to put it in like a bag or whatever people do. <laughs> All right, I've got some gold here too. And my glue is extra sticky today. Not sure why. Got extra stick. Uh, if you're just joining us, we are still having a sale at lovesolaflowers.com. It's 60% off the regular Sola Flowers. And the coupon code for that is DEC like December. 60. All right, so I'm going to get my base of my faux fillers down. Um, and I'm going to leave this little guy for the end. Um, and then I'm going to add my flowers and then I'm going to have some of that uh, preserved greens to go on top there. Okay, so I've got a red flower here. It's a belly flower. And I'm going to load it up with glue. The glue is killing me today. It's like super sticky. All right, and I'm gonna add these two little baby Roma roses. And I do put a lot of glue, guys. I do use a lot of glue. I like to over stick as opposed to under stick, so. I'm just gonna stick these three guys. All it takes is three little flowers. Um, you really don't have room to go like so much more. So don't go, you know, thinking you need a million things. I'm gonna put one of these gold guys right in the middle of the little flower bundle we made. Okay. So we've got the little flower bundle. And again, this can slide on and off. Add so you can put it on other things too. You don't just obviously have to do it on bottles. I'm just gonna add a couple little berries first in the center and then I'm gonna add um, some preserved greenery. So I have first our uh, platyspermum. I'm going to break off a couple of the heads off of that. And I'm going to tuck these in. So again, we did first we did a little bed of faux greens underneath. And now we're going to go in with our really nice fillers here that Love Sola sells. Um, you can look under our, our uh, filler tab and it is sorted now from the preserved and the dried and the faux. So if you're looking for... Um, the ones I'm using tonight, these are preserved. We also have a, a large collection now of the faux fillers, which we'll be uh, showing you this week in, uh, in video so that you can get a closer look than just a picture. So I added that on. And now I have some caspia. It's just green caspia, and I'm going to break off some heads of that as well. Let me just grab some off. Okay. 
All right, so I've got some of this caspia that I'm going to insert here. Caspia is a good greenery for kind of any season. I do like the green for the holidays. It does got like a little bit of a holiday look when you use it with other holiday greenery. Okay. I'm gonna let it dry before I move it and lift it up. But that is really all it takes and I'm gonna show you how pretty it is when I hold it up. I know, look, <laughs> he's so tired. So they are kittens, well, they're, they're a year old now and they, they really go crazy all day long and especially this one behind me actually he's like the kind that climbs curtains and is on your ceiling and climbs walls but at this time they get super duper duper tired and there's like no moving so yeah there he is <laughs> he's kind of tiny still it's funny because he's a little boy and he started out to be the biggest in the litter but he's actually the smallest now so he's cutie all right i think we're dry now so i'm going to hold it up again this is meant to be like a wine bottle, but, uh, or you can get balsamic vinegar to people too. Um, but this would slip up and down. I think I glued it to the bottle because I built it on the bottle, but I wouldn't build it on the, I built it on the bottle because it's easier for me to show you in a video, but I wouldn't necessarily do that in real life. Although I guess it doesn't matter. Here, wait, let me, let me do it where it's removable. Okay. All right. Let me show you again how we do it. Okay, so you have your bottle of wine. You made your little guy here. And again, there's all different kinds of elastic ribbon. And then you just put that there. I don't even know what he is. He's just, we they, we were foster caring. And then we just, we couldn't get rid of them. Because we, we got them when they were a pound. And we were like feeding them with a bottle and everything. And there was just no way to get rid of them after that. So they were just from a field and they had no mom. So <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so look how cute it is. And again, like you can put it on anything, um, that needs to have like a round thing. Let me think of other things that you could put them on. I mean, you could even put them, if you use just those thin stretchies, you can just put it over a box even, you know what I mean? Like you don't even have to, or even if you just make something like this and stick it on like a bow. But I thought this was cute, especially for bottles of wine because, you know, how else do you bottle? You know, you bring it, you, oh, oh, you're going to wherever you're going. Again, I'm not, I don't, I'm not really familiar with too much of wine stuff, but I do know people bring it for holidays and you walk in and it's like a cute way to give it to somebody without having to get one of those bags for it. Cause I do see wine bags and stuff. Um, but you're able to just come with it decorated and even when you know they put it on the table where all the drinks are it looks cute and it kind of keeps the decoration and then they can actually keep it on their bottle of wine um you know while they store it if it's not drank you know that night or anything like that it's kind of like a cute little decoration that they can slide on and off their bottles and um, whenever you know they want for the holidays they can kind of you know dress up their own bottles uh each year so uh, I thought it'd just be cute instead of just sticking a bow on it or whatever, but just coming to a party and you're, you know, got a thing. And it's also a good way to promote yourself, you know? Always, if you if you have a business with Sola, the more Sola you can get onto things that people wouldn't necessarily think you need Sola on, it's a conversation starter, you know? You walk into a party, a bunch of people are there, and you walk in with your bottle and they're like, oh, look how pretty that is. That's so cute on your bottle. And I'm like, oh yeah, I made it in like 10 minutes. It's called Solo Wood Flowers, and I make it for all different types of things. It's just a good way to get your name out there. You could even tuck your card in if, if you're giving it to someone that you don't necessarily know very well. Um, and I just think it's a good way to promote yourself, but it's also a cute way to not just stick a bow on it. Um, it actually kind of, you know, makes it part of a decoration, especially if they're going to be out on a table. And uh, I just thought it was just a cute thing to do to bring in. Uh, you know, the holidays and the new year um, when you're bringing gifts like this to that. So that is it. Um, we will be doing a couple more videos, I think, before Christmas, um, depending on if my shipments of things come in. And uh, so we'll see each other before Christmas. But if I don't, for some reason, get on a video before Christmas, 
I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Stay safe and uh, we will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye.